Hey, what's up? This is Mike Mushock with the band Stained. May the rock be with you. Hello. How are you, Mike? How are you? Excellent, mate. Welcome to May the Rock Be With You. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. No worries at all. Now, we last spoke just over eight years ago. So let's catch up. How have the last eight okay. years been for you? <laughs> <I'm> great. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, everything's, everything's good. Here we are. Got a new record. I mean, I, I, you know, the record came out and I remember, I'm sorry, I remember saying to a friend, you know, I wasn't sure that this day was going to happen or it was going to come. And uh, yeah. it was nice that it that it has and just, you know, very proud of what we've done and glad that it's finally out. Certainly. And we are here because the new Stained album, Confessions of the Fallen, is out 12 years, man. Why was now the right time for a new Stained album? I mean, listen, you know, we got together. We started talking about it in 2018. Um, you know, did some shows in 2019, signed a record deal at that point, realizing, OK, hey, listen, we think we want to make some music. Had a whole plan for 2020. We all know what happened. The world pretty much shut down. And, you know, we regrouped in, you know, 21, kind of, you know, came up with a new plan. We were out with, uh, did a tour with Corn here in the States. And it was really on that tour that we were able to kind of, you know, get together and finally start, you know, sifting through the ideas that I had and figuring out, you know, what Aaron liked, what he didn't, what, you know, what was working and really kind of getting a, a direction for where we wanted the record to go. Nice. So when you put together a new album after so long, how, if in any way, did the creative process change from your previous albums? Sure. Yeah. Listen, you know, I keep saying there was, you know, there was a little anxiety because it'd been a long time since we'd gotten together and, you know, written anything. So you're just like, you know, oh man, you know, this is, what's this going to be? And it, it, I mean, if it was the same, you know, we got together and it just, you know, it, it was like it hadn't stopped. You know what I mean? It was just really just kind of continuation, picking up where we left off is guess what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, that being said, um, this record was made a lot different than any record we'd, we'd previously made. And it was for the fact, you know, Aaron is always working and touring. Um, but I, you know, took those notes and a lot of the ideas that I went through with Aaron on the corn tour and, you know, we hired a producer and, you know, uh, him and I, we actually ended up doing it via zoom because I remember he was supposed to come work with me uh, here and he got COVID and didn't make it. So, but he wasn't very sick. So we, we ended up doing it, you know, via zoom, which we kind of just stuck to doing until the very end. We got together one time. Um, But I, uh, put together the songs, figured out which ones we wanted to work on. And, you know, him and I would go back and forth on the, on the arrangement and he would take them and play them for Aaron. And those guys would work on the, you know, uh, melody and lyrics. And we really demoed out the whole thing. I mean, we knew what it was going to be, which we haven't done I'm probably since our first record. You know what I mean? Wow. So we really had the whole thing kind of demoed out. And then we said, okay, now we went back and re recorded it. Um, you know, and there's, listen, there's changes that are made along the way and kind of continue up to the very end. Um, but you know, like I said, that was a lot, a lot different for us. I mean, we were, usually we get into a room, we all play, we work on the ideas, hash them out, figure out what works out. And yeah, this way was a lot and it actually worked out really well. I mean, yeah, nice. Is that something that you feel like is the way of the future now? Is that how you continue to do things? Um, I don't know. We'll see. You know what I mean? It's the way that it worked this time. Um, so I don't know. Listen, we got this one done. It's how yeah. we'll worry about that. Let's one at a time here. Let's Just not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, one at a time. With a specific idea or direction, was there something that you sat down and went, look, it's been 12 years. Let's go this direction. Let's have something in mind. Or did you just let it flow like you were sort of saying? I kind of yes and yes. I mean, the one thing that, you know, Aaron wanted to have as a direction was he wanted to have more electronic elements. And well, because we've never really had that, you know what I mean? Mm. It's something that we he's spoken of and wanting to do. And I really think Eric did a, a great job of, you know, because I remember saying to him, like, I don't know how to make that kind of record. That's not what I do. You know what I mean? I play guitar and I'll write riffs and, you know, um, put arrangements together but and i i think that you know one thing that eric was able to do was to kind of take that and interpret it and help bring that element into what you know the uh, the songs that we were writing are so um 
and at the end i was i was very happy with you know with the way that it went and that was a lot of things that we were doing kind of going back and forth when we were working on arrangements nice now with you also doing saint asonia when you come back to stained has what has being in saint asonia allowed you to do to bring back to stained mm, i don't I- I, I don't know. I mean, listen, for me, going back to Stained is, I mean, it's the band that I started. It's almost, it's almost 30 years. I know. You know what I mean? So it, it was just something that, I, you know, I mean, I, it's kind of like my first love, I guess, if you will. And not that I don't love St. Sony. I mean, I love playing with Adam. I actually feel super fortunate because I mean, I'm in bands with two of my favorite vocalists, you know what I mean? And working with Adam is, uh, is great. And I love them. And actually, I mean, they, uh, they just played a show with us a couple of weeks ago. You know, we were, we were out doing some shows and those guys played, were on the same bill and it was great, great to see them. And, uh, but I don't know for me, you know, like I said, stains when I started almost 30 years ago and, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's your baby. That's the one. Now you mentioned all the, Yeah, exactly. Like home. The 2019, you got back together for a few shows. The pandemic hit and everything just halted. How is a band when you've got a little bit of momentum there and then all of a sudden it stops? Did that put a real like dampener on the whole thing? I I mean, listen, we were talking through the whole time and, you know, it's funny. We were supposed to do a tour with Disturbed in 2020 and, uh, it kept getting, you know, one of those, I'm sure you guys had that. You, oh, yeah. oh, it's going to be, you know, another month, oh, another month. And then you find you're just like, all right, never, it, this isn't happening. You know what yeah. I mean? Right, I'm sorry. We got to, you know, um, I don't know if there was a damper on it. I mean, honestly, you know, for me, I mean, the pandemic was, I mean, my kids were home from school. They had no, you know, my, my daughter has horses and rides horses. You couldn't go to, they didn't want you at the barn. Mm. My son plays baseball. You could, they finally, they could do that a little bit, but I mean, there was nothing school when they were here. We actually had just like some of the best family time of, yeah. you know what I mean? Of just, you know, we live where we live. It was all hiking behind it. We just, you know, we just gotten a new dog and, you know, spending time with it. Was, it's actually a really nice family time for us. I mean. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I love that. But it now was. we're back yeah. and everything's happening again. So let's talk yeah, about yeah. let's talk about touring. So are there plans and works for shows? And will that include Australia? I hope so. I mean, it's been a lot of years since we've been there. And I mean, listen, obviously it's not easy to get there. It's it's definitely, you know, um I mean it's the other side of the world. So it's it's <laughs> definitely a bit challenging. Um but hopefully, I mean, listen, we're putting our plans together right now for next year and i know that there's a few there's a few tours that we're looking at um so we just have to figure out where that plays in and listen if there's a demand and there's a a way that we can get there then i'm i'm sure we will excellent because i remember the first time i saw you oh i love that too yeah yeah Yeah. the first time we saw you guys was yourself and aaron came and did an acoustic tour which was phenomenal i was there it was really really different and really awesome oh thank you yeah, Thank so you. hopefully we'll see you back with a full band, though. So let's work on that. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Now, when you look back over your career, it can be very easy to say what can change over a certain amount of time. But what's the one thing that's always remained the same about Stained? Oh, I mean, probably the working relationship I feel like that Aaron and I have and that, you know, kind of that chemistry of, you know, like I, you know, I, when we get together, I feel like he takes what I have and helps me make it better and get, you know what I mean? And, and really completes what, what it is and, you know, really, really nails what I'm looking, looking for and having a, you know, and, and having a song and, you know, he just does such a great job with the the melody and the lyrics. Um, you know, yeah, I, I probably say that, you know, working. And like I said, you know, when we got together for the first time, you know, trying to work on this is you're just like, oh, what's this going to be like? We haven't done this in a long time. You know, and like I said, it was like we just picked up where we left off. Yeah. And that's the best way. That's a great sign of a good band. You know what I mean? Good mateship, that sort of stuff. It's awesome. Sure. Yeah. Listen, I, I agree. Thank you. No worries. Now, what is on your list of things to do you haven't yet achieved? World domination. I don't know. <laughs> that's an awesome answer. <laughs> uh, Listen, I'm, 
I'm just very thankful that we're still here and able to do this and people still care. And I can still talk to, you know, guys like you that, you know, want to help us and, you know, spread the word that we have new music out. And uh, I'm just thankful that the band's playing again. You know what I mean? And that we're, we're, we're back and working. And, and like I said, when I started this thing, you know, I, when we put out the record, I'm like, I didn't know if that day was going to come again. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's just, uh, it's great for that to be here and like, hopefully we can continue on and, you know, um, yeah, just keep making music and being able to go play shows. Nice. If you keep releasing songs like here and now, which I absolutely love, then I'm listening forever. That's, that's perfect. (laughs) Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. No worries. Now talking about that, I always like asking the question, I wish I wrote it. So is there one song in the world that you wish you'd written and what would it be and why? Oh, geez. Let's see. I mean, I'm sure there's way more than one. I mean, there's so many great songs. Um, Oh my God. On the spot. How about don't stop believing? Mate, it's tattooed on my arm. (laughs) Really? See, there you go. There you go. So, I mean, it's still great. Or or, honestly, how about eruption? (laughs) There you go. (laughs) That's amazing. Yeah. I don't think anyone in the world could write eruption except for Eddie Van Halen. I think that's the only oh, person. That's why I'm saying I want eruption. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. So lastly, let's look ahead to the future with a prediction. Cause I always like to do this and we're on the way down for the year. So we're going to jump ahead. So finish this sentence for me in 2024 stained will. Gain world domination. I don't know. <laughs> It's goals, man. Uh, goals to have. No, we'll 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 definitely continue touring and support of the record, you know, and hopefully, uh, you know, satisfy some fans that we've had, and hopefully gain some new ones along the way. Nice, and come to Australia. And come to Australia for sure. That's yeah. what we. That's what we like. Now you have made a killer record, Mike. So thank you very much for a brand new record. It's amazing from start to finish. I absolutely love it. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. No and listen, that was that was the goal. I mean, when we when we got together, it was like, this has got to be great. You know what I mean? It's been a long time since we've put anything out. And, you know, um, when we got to the end, we were all very happy with the results. So it's really nice to hear and get that feedback. So thank you. No worries at all. Mike, thank you so much for your time, man. Absolute pleasure to talk to you again. Anytime. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. No worries. We'll see you down here. Hope so. See, see you, mate. mate.